it, it was hard. It was very on paper. It was it was impossible. And you know, for us starting out as a ministry for our local church, like we 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 did a health and fitness ministry where all we did was sow into people, and like the motto for our gym is pretty much reap what you sow. So everything we put into that, we like we had to take that step of faith to look. You know, we're we're going to reap what we sow. How high are we, Aaron? Now, yeah. three and a half meters or so. Is that it? Feels more than three and a half meters, man. Man, that looks like it's gonna like fall. <laughs> the wind, man. L lucky it's not yesterday's wind. What happened was in 2009, Michael registered the business and he um, opened, we opened up in the garage. Council actually said to us, "Not you can't operate in yeah. the gym anymore, uh, in the garage anymore." And so we we're like, "Okay, what do we do?" And we we leased a building. We walked into it. And we're like, "Yep, this is the one." And we got all the equipment that we had in the garage and started from scratch. Um, made our own rig. We didn't buy anything. We made our own equipment. We made our own box jumps. Oh. We got everything made locally because we couldn't afford to be buying like retail stuff. <laughs> we wake up in the morning, you know, we know that's that's our livelihood, that's what we do and that's what we love and we're so blessed to be able to do that and do it for people. Since I was 18, like, you know, I believe Christ showed me, like, you know, my life has a purpose, it has a plan. At the centre of it is still people building relationships, loving people, representing who we're meant to represent, and taking each, each day by day. Our integrity as a couple, individually, and the gym itself, like even little business decisions, who to partner up with, uh, what to say, how to charge people, you know, how to run the business itself down to the finances, everything is influenced through our faith by that. Not that we've accomplished so much, but you know, like our faith has taken us to where it is now. And like seeing from where we started, like in a double garage with like, I think 25 square meters and having almost 20 people in there, bit of OH&S issues, but hey, we've done it. Now we've got something that's over 400 square meters and continuing to grow, so. Signage. Whoa. This has to be more than three and a half meters, man. Job for the tape measure <laughs> Um, within two years, we multiplied and we were ready to move. And now that's where we are, like we doubled the size and just having the support of our members is the best thing that we can have. Um, we've had people follow us all the way through. Um, from the garage. From the garage. Having that relationship with your members that it's not just you're coaching someone or someone just walking in and walking out, it's a relationship that you build and you encourage them through thick and thin. Throughout my career as like a, a trainer or a coach, I've had a lot of females as clientele, so I never knew it, but I was pretty much being prepared to deal with the daughter. So I, I interact with a lot of obviously females at the gym, guys as well, but just being able to talk to them comfortably not confidently, but just being able to talk honestly with them and just building that, as, as Gemma was saying, building relationships with everyone. Um, it taught me how to, to prepare for my daughter. It's, it's completely changed me, as in I, my priorities, where I have to take, it's, I'm still changing. Like sometimes I think, okay, Jim needs to do this, you know, and, but then I forget and Gemma reminds me all the time of, hey, you know, Halia needs to do this. I'm like, Okay, I have to do that. I think as well, it's also made us appreciate all the other parents that are at the gym and also training oh, and stuff. We and had no idea. You have to sacrifice time with your kids too and you have to sacrifice time for yourself because, you know, it's about a juggling process. But for every person that goes through like a health and fitness journey, they're going to hit different points in their lives where they're going to have kids or they're going to have um, different... Um, relationships and and things just affect how you um, your fitness ends up. 
When we genuinely love and care for people, people see that and that's why they stay. That's why they come back as well because they see there's a difference. Everyone's journey is different. That's the coolest part of CrossFit. And um, honestly, that's what drew, drew us to it. It's having the freedom to choose. And this, because CrossFit is so vast and so varied, there's, you know, there's, there's all the ups and downs. It depends on who, what crowd you're a part of, where, how you look at it, but really the ball's in your court to see where you want to go. Jesus actually means liberty, it means freedom, being pardoned from sin, being set free. It, it does reflect who we are without being so over the top and pushing it onto others. That because, of our, because of the feces, our liberty, that Christ paid for our sins, we have the freedom to do what we can. You know, we're free to choose, we're free to choose Him, you know what I mean? So that's pretty much what the whole name sits under, freedom, liberty.